Hello everyone, I'm Dhanashri. I'm a web developer and designer intern at the Sparks Foundation and I have completed my first task which is the project basic banking system for using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and JavaScript for the front end and PHP in the back end and um, MySQL as a database. Uh, this is the uh, GitHub repository link for my project and I, I have hosted this website so this website is live on this link. So let's see the demo of my project. Uh, this is the main page of uh, basic banking system or uh, uh, this ui i have designed uh, using bootstrap and css from here uh, all the customers we can view all the customers we can transfer money and we can also see the transaction history after that here i have made one button which will navigate us to the about us page uh, this is the about us page uh, which will give us information about our website so this is the about us page and this is the back to top button which will navigate us directly to the top of the website and now here is the footer section of our website this is the footer of our website this is back to top button now let's see all the customers of our website by, by clicking on the view button, we, we will navigate to this page. Here we can see the information of all the customers like customer name, account number, email ID, etc. Uh, we can do the profile of specific customer by clicking on this view button. Here you can see the profile of particular customer and, the, and all the information like customer name, account number, email ID, current balance, etc. And, and we can transact money from here also. Now let's see how to transfer money from here. We have to click on this button transfer money. Now, uh, here uh, you have to mention sender's name suppose uncle and recipient's name suppose dhanashree and sender's account number and recipient's account number and you have to mention amount amount if i give any negative amount like minus 200 and give any message for the recipient well, let's see what happens transact it will give me an error like input is not valid and negative value cannot be entered so as i as i entered here minus amount so of course it will give me error like negative values cannot be entered because amount can't be negative so we have to give any positive number here suppose i give 40000 and transact now it's giving me error like insufficient balance because the amount should be less than the current balance of the sender. So here sender is Ankur. So the current balance of Ankur should be greater than this amount. So let's check the current balance of Ankur's account, which is the sender. You can check from here. View all customers. And this is Ankur. Ankur's current balance is only 1000 rupees. So, so we cannot transact money more than 100 sorry um, 1000 because the current balance of ankur's account is 1000 rupees so let's transact again transfer money mention your sender's name recipient's name account numbers of both and year amount so here you have to give amount less than 1000 rupees because the current balance of sender is 1000 rupees Suppose I give 100 rupees and give a new message for the recipient and transact. So now our transaction is successful. So we can see the transaction history from here also. Let's check the transaction history. So this is our current transaction, which is tra transaction number 50. This is today's date. Sender's name, receiver's names, both account number. And we have transacted 100 rupees. This is the amount and this is the message. So now what will happen? These 100 rupees will be added to the receiver's account, which is Dhanashree. 
and 100 rupees will be deducted from the sender's account which is Ankur. So let's check the current balance of both. Go to the home page. View all the customers. And now here you can see the previous current balance of Ankur's account which is sender was 1000 rupees and now it is 900 rupees because we have transferred the money from Ankur's account to Dhanashri's account 100 rupees so 100 rupees will be added to here and 100 rupees deducted from the sender's account so go to the home page from the home page also you can check the transaction history go to transaction history and you can see all the transaction history from here now this is the contact us page i have designed this page using bootstrap and all these pages are dynamic pages which will fit in your mobile mobile laptop and tablet also so this is the email id phone number and office for the contact and here you can submit your query this is the basically photo section this is all about this website which is basic banking system so let's check code now so this is my project files um, which are all php and html files so this is the index page which is the main page of my website um, in this index page first of all i have mentioned all the bootstrap and css links and then this is the code for navigation bar and then th these are all cards like for transact money view all customers and then this is success.php page for which will just a uh, display message if transaction is successful and this is transact.php page here i have uh, written all the code for the transaction for doing the transaction i have to fetch all the values like sender's name recipient's name both account numbers and uh, amount to be transacted okay so after that i have to mention one condition like if the amount is less than zero means amount is any negative value then error will be displayed as negative value cannot be entered because amount can be can't be negative so next condition i have checked is amount should be if the amount is greater than current balance of sender then it will show us error like in insufficient balance because amount should be less than the current balance of sender after that if all is okay then transaction will happen and that amount will be deducted from the sender's account and amount will be added to the recipient's account and then this is the history.php page uh, which will display us a uh, history of all the transactions uh, like all pages i have mentioned here bootstrap and css links and then i have mentioned code for the navigation bar and to show the transaction history i have used a html table here and i fetched all the values like sender's name recipient's name amount and all the transaction information here and then this is view.php page uh, view.php page is for to view the profile of particular customer here i have fetched all the values like customer name account number account type citizenship etc and i have displayed this information using this html table here so this is about us.html which is simple html page which will give us information about this website here are all the links of html sorry bootstrap and css files and now i will show you contact us.php so this is contact us.html page um so this contact us page here also i have mentioned all the links and then this is my email address phone number office address and this is the form for query submission and i have also used uh, javascript validations for that form 
these are all the validation code for my form and this is all custard ph page this page will display in information for the all the customers after clicking on view all customers button here are all the links of css and bootstrap files uh, this is the navigation bar and to display all the values of all the customers i have used this html table and i fetched these values using php all the values like customer name account number citizenship etc this is all about this code thank you